In Luke 8, 43 to, to 52, we saw the story of the woman with the issue of blood. The first, man. the first thing that man is, is that he's supposed to be the conduit pipe. Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh. 70% of God's speakings to you will be in form of impressions, signs, impulses, and signals. And this is why many Christians are confused. Because they are waiting for God to come to say, Nathaniel my son and then for a lifetime they don't hear it so they are wondering how does god speak to people why are you always saying god is speaking to you because they don't know that a large percentage of his speakings are motions of life they are impulses they are transmitted through the the networkings of the spirit and because they don't have a healthy relationship with god they can't pick it there are seven of these signs. The first one he talked about was stenazo. It's a Mark 7, 33 to 34, Romans 8, 23, Hebrews 13, 17, James 5, 9. Stenazo. And that speaking or leading is a summon for prayer. And so anytime you begin to pick a need to pray, especially because of your insufficiency. Know that Stenazo is at work. I told you my story when I went to preach in the redemption camp. I came bold. They now said God's servant was listening. Ah! I just discovered that my preparation was not enough and it was too late to go to my concordance. So I had to go to the bathroom. What happened there was Stenazo. I needed more utterance. I needed more vocabulary. I needed more accuracy because my sufficiency became glaring. You know, you may be doing something where your children are. You'll be bold. They now tell you the governor will watch it the next time you do it. You'll discover that your audience have changed. So you will need more competence. So this type of thing happens when the Holy Ghost begins to warn you, you are not prepared enough. I want to glorify you, but you are not prepared enough. So you need to build up. That's when you feel this impulse, stenazo. If you don't prepare, the platform that should announce you will disgrace you. But when you enter a place where you feel insufficient, don't worry, it's a sign. The Holy Ghost is telling you, you need to add more stamina. But the cure is prayer. So that's why this kind of leading is a drawing to the place of prayer. The moment that insufficiency happens, it's not that you are not qualified in God. Righteousness qualifies you to stand with God. But it's telling you that you are not prepared for the occasion. So you need to build up. That's what Stenazo does. And trust me, if you don't pick these signs, many times you'll be disgraced. After you finish, you'll now come back and everything you were supposed to say, you'll now remember it when you come down. The reason is because you didn't mount up. Stenazo didn't work for you. So when Stenazo comes, it's an alarm that you didn't prepare enough. Your insufficiency will affect you. So go to prayer. It's a call to prayer. It's a summer. The second thing is embrimaiomai. And you find that in John 11, 33, Mark 1, 43, Mark 14, 5. And this type of leading is a strict warning from God cautioning you on what you should do and what you should not do this is why you may not have the ten commandments in your head but when you have the Holy Ghost on your inside you will walk in accuracy because if the Holy Ghost is alive in you he will warn you on steps you shouldn't take in fact there are certain things you want to say you will sense it as though it's a judgment and if you have said it already, you won't have peace. That's another way God leads you from inside. It's a caution. It's a warning. It's a strict dimension of God's leading that causes a man to walk in accuracy. A man who does not have this signal, his conscience has been seared with a hot iron. If your conscience is alive, you will pick these signs many times in all your walkings, interactions, and dealings. This is why it's strange when a Christian operates without conscience. It means the Holy Ghost is not alive in his spirit. Because if the Holy Ghost is there, there is no word you say that is not checked. There is no action you take that is not checked. This dimension of God's leading 
is like a sensor that monitors every decision and every action you take. And if you are held in the spirit, it will be very real to you. And when you find this type of leading, it's a call to walk circumspectly. It's a call to obedience. It's a call to sensitivity. So anything you are doing, slow down. God is cautioning you. You are about to enter error. Slow down. So you may not pray when you hear this type of leading. But wait and check. Judge your actions again. Verify everything what to do and check your conscience. Is your action pure? Many times when you check, you will discover that either your action is not pure or you are about to make an error. That is why God comes like that. There are times when you want to tell your wife something. She will feel embraced by my own. This thing you want to say is not a sin, but you will hurt her heart. And it is not consistent with the character of God. There are times when you want to go somewhere and play a game. You will notice movement. You are not sinning, but God is against it. If you pick this type of leading, you'll be accurate. And so the way to respond to this one may not be prayer, but it's caution. Slow down. In fact, anything you are doing, stop and examine yourself. Find out what is wrong. What am I about to do wrong? And you will be corrected. The third one is Tarasso. John 11, 33. John 5, 4 and 7. Acts 15, 24. Galatians 1, 6, 7. Mark 6, 50. And this type of leading is caution and urgency to avoid danger. The difference between Embryo Mayo and Tarasso is that Embryo Mayo is a caution against error. Why Tarasso is a caution against danger. So Tarasso comes with a form of fear. Why Embryo Mayo comes with reverence. So one guides you from error. The other one guides you from danger. So you want to take a step and you feel that movement. It's also very strong. It means what you're about to enter, your faith is not enough to handle it. Somebody else can enter and his faith will bring him out. But you have not built your faith to that level. Did I tell you my story? When I was going to Oweri to preach. And there was signal. There was signal. But I said, we are generous. And I went on the journey. Five minutes into the air, plane started falling. Have you been in a plane that is falling before? May you never be there. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, I've been in a car before. The car was hit by a big vehicle. And we were spinning on the road. I told everybody, be still, all is well. There was no movement. I was gallant. But this time, the Holy Ghost checked. Maybe I've not meditated on scriptures for a long time. Maybe my spirit was weak. And he said, don't make this journey. Don't make this journey. I heard the sound. But I went ahead. I neglected Tarasso. And when we entered the, the flight, the plane started falling. When my friend, myself and Pastor Godwin traveled last week, I saw the plane. I said, that is the plane. I know that one. If you receive Tarasso, hmm, the only reason you can go ahead Eh? Like he said, you must pray through. Pray until you receive a note of victory. If you don't receive a note of victory and you move, the only way you'll be saved is by the mercy of God. And trust me, if the mercy of God didn't show up that day, I would have died. Because when we landed in Oweri, I went to the pilot and said, what happened? Because I know I will preach about it. And I didn't want to come and say what is not right. The man said, I didn't know what went up over there. It's just a mess, man. It's just a mess. Well, this what I say, you don't know why we are here. It's messy. It's not a mess. You want to enter a business, you sense danger. It's Tarasso. Don't go into that business. Oh. The only reason you can go into that business is if you pray through and you receive a note of victory. A note of victory is a leap of God in your heart. And it brings ventilation, a sense of joy or assurance. If that thing comes, what has happened is that you have battled that matter and you have overcome. But if you don't receive a note of victory, don't go. You will die. If you don't die, then it's the mercy of God because mercy prevails over judgment. So Tarasso is a strict warning of God and urgency to you to avoid danger. And the last thing is 
Paro Zuno. Acts 17, 16. Staring. Staring. This is the one that the evangelists like. You will find that in Acts 17, verse 16. You also find that in John chapter 5, verse 4 and 7. How many of you remember the story of the pool of Bethesda? you find that there. So that one is a move of the spirit in your heart that releases power for signs and wonders. There are times when you want to walk miracles because you have faith for miracles. You can walk miracles. When the spirit of faith is at work, you can manifest. For example, if somebody tells me he has pain, I don't need to think. I'll just rebuke it. If you tell me you have a growth in your body, I don't need to think. I'll rebuke it. If you tell me your ear, you, are, you can't hear something, I don't need to think. I'll rebuke it. You know why? I've built my faith beyond that level. But if you come to me now and you tell me that ah, I have cancer of the skin, I don't know. I don't have faith for skin disease. I, I see them healed though. But if somebody say has a skin problem, I don't know how to start praying. So if I'm in a public and you show up and you say, I have skin challenge. I may tell you, let's trust God. Now, there are issues that my faith has conquered. So I can use faith to deal with them. Now, you know, the Bible said in Jude verse 20, it said, building up yourself upon your most holy faith. Your faith can be at this level. The height of this microphone. But maybe because of family problem, because of lack of money, you can be operating here. So there are people who have faith like this, but they are operating here. They are quarreling with somebody, they are keeping malice, their conscience is not right, so they are here. When you pray in tongues, what happens is that your faith does not increase by prayer. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. It's only the word of God that brings faith. But when you pray, what prayer does is that it jacks you up to operate at the highest level of your faith. So if you have not prayed for a while, the things that you can deal with by faith, they will start reducing because you will decline on the ladder of faith. Are you seeing that? So, if your faith is at this level, there are certain things you can always handle. So, anywhere you go to, you can handle those things by faith. And then you can also handle things by the anointing. So, when I go for a meeting sometimes and we are worshipping, the anointing becomes strong. On the strength of that corporate anointing, I can make declarations and things happen. Because I understand the intelligence of the anointing. Now, the expectation of people can also provoke something. There are certain meetings you go for. Even before you speak, the people are already high. So anything you say, their expectation will draw it. Even if the anointing on your life is small, they will empty the whole anointing and achieve result. So there are things that are... That's why as a man of God, don't live carelessly. Hide with God. If you are everywhere... The expectation on your life will reduce. They are playing basketball. You are there. They are doing food competition. You are there. Sometimes you sit with your friends. You people are wearing singlet. You are jumping. People say these people are, they are not serious people. What has happened is that expectation to receive from you have reduced. So you, you, there are many manifestations you won't see in your life again. So you can do some things by faith. You can do some things by the anointing. But there are times when you go somewhere. Your faith level is low. And the anointing is also low. That's when you need this operation of the spirit. If paroxuno does not show up, you are in trouble. So what happens is that at some point, there will be a leap in your spirit. Command blind eyes, they will open. You are not the one. It's the Holy Ghost that moved on your inside. At that time, it's not your faith at work. It's not the anointing. It's a move of the spirit. So when you sense paroxuno, you need, you need urgent response. Because if you don't respond immediately, that atmosphere will close. And if it closes because your faith was not enough, you will talk, it won't happen again. That's why some people are confused. You see them on the altar. They say they heard God that there's somebody with cancer who will be healed. And they declared, but they didn't declare when the window was open. Because they don't know how paroxuno works. It's not your faith that you are spending from. It's not your anointing you are spending from. You are spending from an instantaneous leap of the spirit. So what Paroxuno does is that he requires 
urgent response. Urgent response. If you respond immediately, you will have the answer. And this is one of the things that make many people achieve extraordinary results. All of these are intangible but undeniable perceptions of the spirit that brings victory to a Christian. Thank you.